Hello and welcome to Math Illustrations Basics Tutorial 4 presented by Saltier Software. My name is Audrey and today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your display as well as copy and paste a figure into Word. First thing we're going to do is change up our display. And I'm going to show you a few things you can do in the icon bar right here. First thing is the toggle grid and axes. If we click on it, we toggle the axes, and then if we click again, we'll toggle a grid. If you want to change this in any way, for example, the number of boxes within your grid, you can go up to Edit, down to Preferences, and then there's a place right here where you can change these properties. If you want to completely get rid of these, then you simply hit the button again, and you're back to your nice white canvas. Another one I want to show you is the Distinguish Constraints and Annotations button. This is important if you changed your line properties to draw in all one color, like this one, for example. If you click it, you'll notice that a lock will appear if it's a constraint, another constraint down there, or an A if it's an annotation. Click it again, and then you can hide these labels. Another important thing up here is the scale up or scale down. If you find your image is too big, you can just scale it down a little and then it will be smaller. You can go up to view and check your page boundaries. This is important if you're going to be exporting this to a Word document. You'll want to make sure that your figure fits in the page. Go back to view and select it again to get rid of these lines. We're going to now look at changing up your toolboxes. Over here, you can move these around simply by clicking and dragging them to any place you want. You can lock them up at the top as well as the side. Or if you find yourself not using a toolbox very often, you can click on the X and that will get rid of the toolbox. To get it back, you go back to View and down to Tool Panels and select the one you want. And we'll move this back down here. You'll notice in the View Tool Panels, there's a few that we don't have. For example, Calculate and Variables. So there's a few you might have not seen. If you're not a big fan of these toolboxes and you are on your page, the main ones are also up here as drop-down menus. So now we're going to look at exporting a figure that you've created into a Word doc. And the best way to do that is to go up to Edit, and you have two options. You have Copy Drawing and Copy Region. I prefer Copy Region because that I can visually see how much white space my figure will have. And so you just click and you drag a box around the figure and click it again. And this will automatically be pasted into a clipboard for you. So you can go to any place, any document that allows you to paste things into it. I'm going to use this Word document right here and simply paste your figure. And there you have your nice figure that you've created. And that's how you change displays and copy and paste things into Word with math illustrations. My name is Audrey, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about math illustrations, you can go to the website at www.mathillustrations.com. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment on below. Thank you for watching.